Damn, Hungary got hands, bro. I actually got stack wiped here. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the releasables challenge. The challenge where you play every nation you for in 1444. Wait, no, not in 1444. That doesn't exist in 1444. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I get them mixed up sometimes. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a super interesting start in a nation that I rarely ever see being played. Maybe one of the most rare nations in Europe as the nation of Montenegro. Montenegro is a nation that can be released from these two provinces right here from Venice and Serbia. And as you all know, in releasables, when a nation that we need to release has cores in multiple countries, we release it from the country that it has the most cores in. But this is the first time we come across an example like this where where uh, we have two possible provinces to release ourselves from, and one is in one country, the other one is in another country. So we really don't have a set rule for this from which nation to release ourselves. So that's why I came up with the rule to release ourselves from the province that has the most dev. And that's where I made my first mistake, because the province with more dev is Kataro right here. It has seven dev, Zeta has five dev, so uh, I'm gonna have to release myself from Venice instead of Serbia. This is uh, meant to make playing... Uh, you know releasables easier but in this case it uh it made it harder <laughs> Uh, so let's jump in as Venice and then as Montenegro. All right, all right, here we are as Venice, our first mistake of the campaign, like I said, and I uh, am yeah, in Kataro with seven dev, Zeta is five dev. Dude, breaking free from Serbia would have been like ultra easy, man. A nice expansion too. Whatever, whatever, let's right click on ourselves, go down there, there we are, play as the release subject, boom, here we are. All right, Montenegro, very cool flag. Uh, starting lure is a 135, which actually isn't that good. And let's take a look at Montenegro ideas. Oh, they are unique. So, okay, plus one attrition for enemies and plus 15% for defense, similar to what uh, Albania has. Then we finished off with plus 10% infantry combat. I'm liking all of them so far. Plus one government thingy, tolerance of the true faith, infantry discount, embargo efficiency and privateer efficiency, right? Some piratical stuff, yearly navy tradition, tax, and plus 15% manpower. Actually, this is a pretty good set of national ideas, man. Uh, no unique missions. We can't form anyone, I guess. And we pop out as uh, Orthodox. Who's gonna support our independence, man? <sighs> Whatever. Let me oh we're a republic too right plutocracy is this the merchant one i'm just gonna go civic republicanism i don't think we've done that yeah let's wait for a month and see what we can do here man i'm not feeling confident at all if this doesn't work i'll i'll just release myself from serbia honestly that's gonna be so easy right a month has ticked over let's go over into our states summon the diet let's do this one since we're gonna be diving anyway religious and diplomats and clerical education if we pop out as catholic or if venice forces us to be catholic that that actually is gonna be more useful for us uh in getting alliances let's give the noble supremacy an increase and let's give these guys land patronage and uh indebted boom there we go let's sell seas let's try and look for a diplo rep guy which we don't have neither do we have an improved relations guy so i'm just gonna keep firing this guy until i get one of those two guys uh making a little bit of money first limit is three yeah let's start building up our army and see who we might get to support us wow it can actually get a lot of people man oh, wait didn't we get like all of these guys in our um verona campaign too hungry like milan biz ottomans dude if i can get the ottomans in hungary that's it <laughs> that's definitely enough let's tell this guy to collect in constantinople this guy can collect and pass both of them will in fact establish communities let's start improving with uh hungary and the ottomans we're definitely gonna need boats this campaign, man. I'm gonna start building up transports. I don't have sailors. Best case scenario here, I break free from Venice, take like, I don't know, this, 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 maybe this too. And then in the meantime, these guys here are still alive and I can fight them after the war with Venice. I might even give the Ottomans some things down here, if I'm being honest. These guys have a tiny version of the Venice flag on their flag, don't they? Wait, this is the modern day Montenegro flag. It's the same. Yeah, look, this is right there. <laughs> Dude, I love being orthodox. I got the three stab all from events <laughs> and we haven't even done anything, man. At least we're not going to go into the negative uh, when we declare the war. So yeah, admin points saved. Oh, look, man, these guys give uh, a different type of bonus. So civic republicanism is pretty good. Yeah, this guy has a stab discount, which would be really nice if we did end up losing stab. Trade efficiency, fort defense. Yeah, what does this guy give us? Does he give anything? Maybe not because he's a default guy. This is just a, you know, a th I'm going to keep him for now because yeah. So what I didn't realize is we're, we're, we're fighting biz. Come on, man. It's so rare that Venice declares on biz before the Ottomans. And I didn't notice we're in a war. Am I going to get wiped? I'm not going to get wiped, but 
Okay, so we're in this war. I've already gotten Milan to support me, and I'm just waiting for Hungary and the Ottomans to end some wars because I can get them to support me as well. Meanwhile, tier two thingy here, authoritarianism. No, we don't need that. Political dynasties might be pretty good, honestly. Republicanism. Usually you get uh, the, the, the fourth guy from this usually sucks though. So I might get republicanism, virtues of this. That's pretty good for manpower actually, religious values. I'm actually gonna go with the manpower, man. Frick it. Oh wait, my republican tradition sucks, dude. No. Okay, yeah, there's hungry as well so i got everyone if only their entire army wasn't standing on my province i'd declare what's their mill access man yeah they can't get to biz idiots well they took land here which means more land for me <laughs> nice man well we're doing this while these idiots are standing in my province the ottomans started doing this hungary started doing this what's gonna be left for me aragon <laughs> wonderful or wait is the ai actually genius for doing this and not stupid you see, I'm the one that's stupid. I can't declare when I have troops in their land. <laughs> Let's declare. I don't care what Hungary and the Ottomans are doing. Frick it. Aragon's in this too. That's going to be pretty tough. Oh, I can't go there? Albania, give me access, please, man. No. Beat up Constance. Let's do a little force religion on them. Oh, they won't accept. Oh, sweet. Hungary peaced out. And they actually didn't take uh, all that much. I can probably full annex Serbia and Bosnia after I'm done with this. Okay, so I pieced out Aragon for war reps and we're kind of done here. Let's see what we can do. So obviously we're going to get independence here, right? Then let's take these provinces since they're connected anyway. And like this people are mad. What if I take Durazzo too? Uh, Corfu and Negroponte are occupied by the Ottomans. So is Noxos. So let's do that. And they're only banned by one, which means they won't break their alliance with me. Let's make uh, Venice even weaker by giving Milan his scores back. He's super happy. Uh, nothing for Hungary, unfortunately. Let's see what happens with this. So that decreases by seven like that. If I do that, it's eight. Uh, it's less than 10. So they still won't break the alliance with me. I don't think Hungary definitely will. But the Ottomans in Milan, I don't think they will. So yeah, I'm going to get the these provinces here. Although Istria, man, it's super important to frick it. I'm not going to get war reps. I'm going to get Istria. And uh, let's get a couple of ducats as well. Yeah, there we go. There's that war with uh, with uh, Venice done. Let's go back home and I'm immediately going to declare on like Serbia and Bosnia. Let's just pay off nothing all right so i got bigger loans to pay off all my smaller loans now we can give out the cheaper advisor privileges as well and the best part is i can also get new burger loans which are a bit larger force limit is now seven uh which means we are uh, chilling and uh you know what i'm actually gonna slack in recruiting standards i don't even know what this does anymore since it doesn't give manpower but uh we're gonna waste that professionalism by hiring the free company as well so uh yeah um i am gonna get miltech 5 even without uh the renaissance okay took a little break but now i'm back i think we were supposed to declare on these guys yeah let's go belligerent bosnia reconquest for zeta silly's gonna come in too but no big deal uh hungry obviously broke their alliance with me milan and the ottomans didn't expect it okay so this war took a while and it definitely wasn't as uh, easy as i thought but let's hope we can Full annex both of these guys. Yes, we can. Excellent coalition. Wait, why are they so mad? These guys aren't even uh, Catholic, man. Or Bosnia is? No, it's not. It's, uh, it's... Oh, well, actually, it is. Hmm. Will a coalition actually form? Albania, Ragusa, Naples, Silly, the Pope. Yeah, it will actually form, man. What if I vassalize Bosnia? Still, it's the same, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna full annex both of these guys and chill for quite a while. We really gotta, you know, start off with a bang here. So I'm, I'm willing to just chill for a while and build up what I have. Okay, excellent growth for now. 109 dev, perfect. Nowhere near uh, making Venice not exist, but I think we're good here, man. Let me uh, do this twice. Pour this up. We're severely lacking admin. Expand Montenegro, sure. Uh, add some more rivals, sure. Let's rival Silly and, um, I don't know, Ferrara. Your three gov reform time. Let's go with consolidation of power. Okay. Whew. Let me try and fix my country. Okay. Spawn the Renaissance and split. Let's see how much money you need to embrace it. Actually, I can do that. Yeah. There we go. Let's embrace it. See if we can sell it to someone. We can sell it to the Ottomans. Yes. Our money problems are solved. Not only with that, but also with the fact that we got the gold mine over here now. Very nice. Spending lots of points for Dab already sank so much into split. Luckily, I didn't have to push for it to the max. It was already spreading, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's push for the Renaissance here, man. Sorry, not for the Renaissance. Develop the gold mine. A good thing here is that once aggressive expansion chills and once I, you know, get my manpower back up, we can definitely easily fight Hungary with the help of the Ottomans, man. You know, negative trust right now and they're fighting another war, but they're not even allied to Austria or nothing like that. So we can definitely expand quite a lot into, you know, at least this area right here, which is what mainly interests us, the Ragusa trade node. 
but we could go up here as well. So the Pope's in a coalition against me, right? But I can ally him. <laughs> Why not? There we go. Uh, it's just Naples, Albania, and Ragusa now. Yeah, we're chilling. Let's wait for them to leave, and then I think I'll fight Hungary. In the meantime, we can spy on them. Conquer new states. Very nice. I just stated everything up over here. Let's rebel Venice and who? Hungary. Let's do a little bit of lowering autonomy to start making even more money. I think I'm making about eight ducats a month right now. Oh, ten. We're really gonna pay off all the money in no time. And manpower is the problem right now, boys. Something I gotta not do, actually, is conquer Albania, man. Because it's Ottoman cores, right? And right now, they're kind of chill with me. But if I take this, we're gonna have a problem here. First idea group time here. What goes well with our own national ideas? I guess defensive would be cool, huh? You know, I did just do an Albania guide a few days ago. Um, That has attrition for enemies, fort defense, and stuff like that. Our government type isn't definitely not as good as the Albanian one, but... uh. You know, with defensive here, we, you know, we got um, more fort defense, uh, more hostile attrition, attrition for enemies. So, yeah, uh, we don't take it too often. So, yeah, I am going to go defensive here, man. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck not doing anything right now since the Ottomans are busy with QQ of all nations. Um, weird way to expand, but whatever. Uh, and just waiting for their help versus Hungary. Wow, this is not even better than what I can pull off <laughs> regarding alliances. <laughs> yeah, also, I can't fight Venice on my own. Aragon is here. Oh, but look at this, man. The Ottomans wouldn't defend Ragusa. Can we do something with Naples here, I wonder? Probably not, but yeah. So I made Naples end their alliance with Austria and give me war reps. Maybe we can fight them later. I didn't want to take stuff from them uh, now because of, uh, you know, aggressive expansion in Italy. But uh, there's Ragusa, ours. Very nice province. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a while since we did any uh, Yugoslavia borders, but uh, yeah, just need a little more and to lose a little bit as well. Ah, France is going to PU Naples. Alrighty then. Since we're Orthodox, we're going to go with this for tier four. So the Ottomans are finally willing to help versus Hungary after I helped them conquer one province minor Byzantium with no allies. <laughs> We got a bunch of claims on Hungary. Let's declare for Belgrade here, calling the Ottomans and Milan, Albania, Saxony, Trent. Might give Albania to the Ottomans here. And yeah, I'm aiming to take as much of, uh, well, uh, Croatia, Slavonia, and Bosnia here as I can. Damn, Hungary got hands, bro. I actually got stack wiped here. <laughs> ah, that's a problem. I'm gonna use up all my manpower for this, man. Jesus. The Ottomans actually ran away, dude. What is happening? We're supposed to be winning this. See, I see the problem, man. Ottomans are tech 5 as well. So the Ottomans finally remembered that they're, uh... That they're the strongest nation in the game, and we managed to win versus Hungary. Unfortunately, even though I've set these provinces of interest, man, some of this stuff, they're still not transferring over to me, which is no big deal. I honestly think it would have been too much AE to take it all one more, but let's actually give Albania over to the Ottomans, and then I'm going to take a bunch of stuff over here. How about this? That's 46 AE. You know, Albania is not going to exist. And then we'll take, like, these three provinces and more in our next war versus Hungary. But I think for now, we're done. Okay, pretty nice uh, expansion and growth. So where do we push to next, man? I, you know, I kind of want to do a Yugoslavia border uh, bonus goal. Uh, but for that, we have to fight the HRE. So let me look for a France alliance here. Oh, they hate me. Now, second idea group time. If I want to fight these guys, obviously, I'm going to need more allies. And what better way to get more allies rather than Diplo ideas? Is there anything better that we can get here, I wonder? What's some good policies with defensive... Espionage gives us more fort defense, I guess. Diplo gives us a diplomat and improved relations. Actually, that's pretty good. Court AE impact and morale damage received. That's kind of weird. You know what? I am I am going to go diplomat. Sounds uh, sounds pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go galley combat here, even though I don't have galleys. The only thing I got to hope for here is that even if Hungary gets pummeled, I hope they don't get PU'd by Poland because this Poland is really strong. Looking decent dev-wise, by the way. Let's go with this. Oh, dude. Um... Frick, if only they'd done it with this province too, man. Uh, Bohemia made Hungary pop out uh, Croatia and Bosnia. And I don't have a claim on Croatia, but I do have one in Bosnia. Let's uh, let's declare as soon as they remove their guarantee. Ooh, a war versus Venice. Okay, okay. Let me set Scilly as a province of interest. And then everything that Venice owns, we might actually get something from the Ottomans here. Bohemia removed their guarantees on Bosnia and Croatia. So I'm just going to declare on Bosnia while they have no allies. I'm actually going to call the Pope into that since he was willing to join. There we go. He'll do that for me and i just got a claim on croatia no allies yes <laughs> nice milan will help me at that thank you pope and milan for conquering these two boys for me meanwhile i'm helping the ottomans fight uh venice 
Yo, the Ottomans actually gave silly to me in a separate piece. You don't see that too often, man. Usually anything your allies give you isn't the final piece versus the main belligerent, but got out Ottomans, man. Let's hope this isn't too much AE. I've defeated Bosnia too. I'm just noticing that now. Perfect. What? Oh, I thought it was the Ottomans. The Pope wants to break his alliance with me. Really good with relations though. I wonder if I can send them a gift. Eh? Mm. Oh, wait. Provinces of vital interest. I just saw that now. Same six provinces? Ah, oh, the Venetian ones. Yeah, let me just remove that, Pope. Or wait, no. Ah, oh, we still keep the alliance like this. Okay. I even managed to cross onto Venice myself, man. That's how powerful Montenegro is, man. I only do this once a year. Actually crossing onto Venice. <laughs> In the meantime, though, shout out Milan for helping me with, uh, with Croatia. Perfect. Oh man, look at my war participation, yo. I'm definitely gonna get stuff from Venice too, from the Ottomans. Let's just hope it's not too much and I don't get coalition. I feel like they can only give me one province, realistically. I really gotta improve with more uh, outrage, guys. Okay, the Ottomans pieced out. I got Treviso? <laughs> oh, this is manageable. I can do this. Uh, thank you, Ottomans. Very nice province. Probably the second best they could have given me, actually, after Venice. Screw you, Austria. Build buildings. Do we have a cool military doctrine? I guess not. Let's go even more defensive. <laughs> Lots of fort defense uh, modifiers. Let's uh, let's try and find them. F, 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 F. 80% plus 80%. That's, that's not bad at all. So I've made an executive decision to call off the Yugoslavian border's bo bonus goal because, uh, well, we won't be large enough with just those provinces. So we need to conquer more than that. Ottomans are finally fighting the Mamluks, which is a good thing. I do want the Ottomans to be really powerful so they can help us out in wars, as long as they don't start hating me, which they're not. Even though they have claims on all of my provinces. Also, converting away provinces slowly but surely. Um, we're Orthodox, but no religious ideas yet, which is kind of weird for me, honestly. But uh, we need these more than we need religious. Or, well, I wanted these more than I wanted religious. Either way, our truce with Hungary is up. And even though the Ottomans uh, aren't willing to help out because they're busy with the Mamluks, I can still do it with the Pope and Milan, man. We got more troops than them. So, yeah, let's just do it. Just so you can see how defensive my provinces are, uh, I siege down uh, Pest and this province, which is a level 2 fort, before Hungary siege down my level 1 fort. I forced Magdeburg to be orthodox. <laughs> well, that's a really good way of messing with Austria, actually. Let's do it to Saxony, too. <laughs> and manpower is the problem, man, and it keeps being the problem. I wonder if I can do this. Yeah, we should be good, but this is going to stop me from expanding in Venice too much, man. Yeah, this is what I'm going to take. Ah, oh, Austria is about to pew hungry. This is the second time France has declared for Saluzzo. Can they not win? I'm gonna dev for colonialism here. I got the points anyway. <sighs> as much as I'm not prepared for war, or well, actually I am, and he isn't even that bad. Yeah, let's uh, let's chip away at Venice, man. We really gotta. I, I'm gonna feed some stuff to the Pope here. I'm planning on taking Venice for myself and giving everything in uh, Emilia Romagna to uh, the Pope. This isn't gonna be easy. Aragon's involved in this as well. Ugh. So the war with Venice has been won, uh, but they're in a war with, uh, yeah, these guys as well. So I'm waiting to see what happens there. I kind of wanted to give all three of these to the Pope at the same time. So, but you know what? I will go ahead and peace out. Let's just give Ferrara to the Pope. I'll take Padua and Friuli and can this be done? Yeah, actually it can. Sweet. So I'll take Verona later and feed Modena and Ravenna to the Pope later. Uh, no money, no war ups, actually. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like that. Meanwhile, tier 6 gov reform time. Let's see. No parliament. Probably president of social system, right? Well, I don't really need to seize land. It's already growing. Uh, it's already above 30, I mean. So this would be very nice that uh, advisors increase Republican tradition. Yeah. Yeah, and let me tell you, boys. Once you state, you know, Venice before you conquer all of it, it's not cheap decor, man. That's why you see me so often in uh, videos uh, leaving states up right here. Because I usually try and conquer an entire state and then full state it. So to not pay this, you know, at one time. But GovCap is a problem as well. So take a look at the Great Powers list right here. I, I have 393 dev, but I don't have colonialism yet. Portugal does. If I embrace it, I will be above them, which that is one goal accomplished. But Venice still exists. So we got at least until 1520 something to play. Because no way I can choose break these guys, bro. The entirety of Europe is going to coalition me. Might chill until then, or I might fight Austria-Hungary here if we have the opportunity. No one else I can really fight, honestly. By the way, shout out King Julian. One of my favorite, uh, lemurs. That's how you repay me, huh, Pope? You suck.
you've lost these two provinces. I'm feeding you Emilia Romagna here. I was gonna give you Modena and Ravenna, but no, you've allied Austria and I've rivaled Milan and I'm Orthodox, you're Catholic and literally the Pope. <laughs> you fool. Finally, a wrap on Diplo. Jesus, took long enough. Embrace colonialism, so yeah, there we are. Oh, actually the same amount of dev as Portugal, man. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep growing here in order to, you know, keep up and stuff. Pretty much everyone's getting colonialism already, so. Yeah, A man. The Ottomans, shoot, the Ottomans would help versus Austria. What's, that's still not more troops. Does Castile have Aragon? They don't. And England is gonna be annoying. Castile is gonna be annoying. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth fighting Austria-Hungary, man. Break. I'm so trapped, dude. Maybe I should have went the other way. Maybe I should have broken my alliance with the Ottomans, allied these guys, and fought the Ottomans. Now we're now there's no way we can fight the Ottomans with no amount of alliances. Well, actually, Austria, Hungary, and Poland, Lithuania, we could do it, but I mean we can definitely blitz them by the time England and Castile arrive. Frick it, let's do it. Would you look at that? The siege of Vienna worked this time, except uh it was done by Burgons. Just kidding, the Ottomans occupied it, but it went to Burgons automatically. <laughs> I guess they're Austrian primary culture. Are they? How do you see that? Oh <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh my god, Castile's on low. Nice. Dope. Alright. <laughs> yes, there's a white piece on England too. Sweet, we're done. Okay, let's uh let's meme on Austria a little bit here. So obviously I'm taking this. How oh, is that so much? How oh, are six provinces a 120 aggressive expansion? Oh my god. Look, bro, three provinces are 82? No oh, wait, do I have a problem with GovCap? Yeah, I think that's gonna mess me up. GovCap buildings, I already built them all, man. Okay, obviously we're not taking anything from Hungary. Jesus, let's just take these three then. Uh, let's let's give Intol to Burgans. Let's make them uh release Styria, <laughs> and uh, let's make them give me money. And by the way, if you're wondering how Burgans keeps helping him out in uh, every single war, it's because they're a junior partner of Milan, dude. Look, it's neck and neck with Portugal, man, this whole game. Okay, truce with Venice just expired. Portugal keeps growing. Obviously, they're conquering stuff and colonizing. We gotta hit Venice here immediately. I know for a fact I'll get coalitioned after I finish the war with Venice, but, uh, you know, I never, you know, decided to have to core the provinces up that we uh, have to take. So let's declare on Venice. I think, I guess, uh, I guess I'll be taking these two provinces here. Corsica, Florence, man. Yeah. Yeah, Styria would join as well. Just peaced out these guys. Okay, stop the presses. So, uh, Portugal has 443 dev. I have 424, which means I have, uh, what's that? Like 19 less dev than them. So if I piece out Venice right now for Verona, which is 17 dev and Ravenna, which is 13, that's a 30 dev, which will put me uh, a couple of points above them, about 11, right? Or I don't know, maybe, but after that, we don't even have to wait the court of the provinces or nothing like that. I've done that in previous videos already. Let's go. Oh no, they wouldn't exist. I can't peace out now. Uh, I, I mean, they would exist. I can't peace out now. Does Milan want, want Modena? They do. Okay, excellent. So I'll transfer Modena over to Milan. And this is going to be the peace deal, but they won't accept right now. I got to go siege Augsburg fast. Actually, no, Milan will siege Augsburg. I got to siege Corsica. They're 26 dev ahead of me now. Frick, dude. Oh. What's this? What are you telling me about? Regionalism, provincial government, state maintenance. I, I need the gov cap. Corsica is already on low. Finally caught Augsburg all the way down here. Oh, and that's an unconditional from Venice. Yes, okay. There we go. Full annexation. Boom. Venice no longer exists. Let's check. That is true. And on the great powers list, we are... Uh, above Portugal by 3 dev with colonialism embraced with someone with colonialism below us and after accomplishing both of our goals literally at the same time literally at the same month tick on January 1st 1523 this uh, campaign as a wannabe Yugoslavia which I didn't manage to do is a success but yeah there you go man start off as montenegro in this one province right here and as i said at the start when a nation that we need to release has scores in multiple countries we release it from the nation in which it has the most scores in but as you know uh, in this campaign it was one-to-one -one, serbia or venice and i decided to do it hey why not do it in the province that has more dev right to give us a better chance but uh that was the first mistake because uh well the province that had more dev was this and we had to break free from venice which eh, maybe it wasn't that bad we did 
end up managing to ally the Ottomans, which we held on to for the entirety of the campaign. So maybe if we broke free from Serbia, maybe it would have been harder. Honestly, I'm not really sure, dude. But uh, honestly, a super fun campaign, man. Uh, very slow and methodical expansion into these guys here. Got some, you know, useful allies and some not so useful allies. Shout out Hungary and not shout out Hungary. But uh, yeah, expanded a little border gory, made Venice not exist. Uh, pushed into Hungary, pushed into this region over here. Didn't fight Albania, luckily. Otherwise, the Ottomans would have broken their alliance with me. And um, yeah, overall, pretty fun, straightforward campaign. Didn't manage to recreate the Yugoslavia borders, like I said. But uh, that's because we wouldn't have had enough dev like that. And I would have uh, had to dev till eternity. But uh, we did manage to uh, conquer quite a lot. Uh, you know, money wasn't ever really a problem, especially at the start when we started knowledge sharing with the Ottomans and dev up the gold mine here. But uh, manpower, man, manpower was a major problem the entirety of the campaign. I guess all these hills and mountains and stuff like that really hurt us. And uh, yeah, not getting any manpower modifiers in the early portion right here. This one is there. Uh, I didn't get the tier two one either, uh, which is uh, which one? This one right here. So yeah, that didn't end up hurting us. So if you guys play Montenegro, uh, make sure to pick up quantity or some other modifiers uh, like that. But aside from that, man, pretty cool campaign. Did try and build as much buildings as I could. Uh, there we go. We still got two marketplaces to build right there. Let's see the production buildings. Not that many, man. Pretty low value trade good provinces, as we can see right here. Not a lot of churches either. Well, actually, a decent amount of churches and uh, courthouses, obviously, I built with every single spare ducat that I had after that. A bunch of army buildings here and there as well. But uh, yeah, didn't upgrade too many centers of trade either. So um, yeah, that has been our campaign as Montenegro. Really fun and uh, underrated and obscure nation, if you ask me. Uh, you know, these guys existed pretty quickly, historically, after the start of U4. You know, you, you just scroll like to the next start date and they're always there right up until the end of the game. And like these two provinces being guaranteed like the autumn by the Ottomans or something. So. So, yeah, a nation which existed for most of you for this time frame, but you never really see in your games. Uh, definitely recommend you guys give them a shot. You could even restore Byzantium, of course, later on as them. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Montenegro in releasables has been a success. And that has been Montenegro in releasables. Now, let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're going to play next time. Back in the wheel of pain. Back in the wheel of pain. Let's click the spin. Who are we gonna play next time? Didn't we play Normandy or something like that? I swear I saw them here. I guess we didn't. Lusatia, who the... Oh! Well, this is the only Sorbian culture nation in the game. And uh, we can be released from Bohemia. How is expansion in that region gonna go, I wonder? Yeah, I really don't know. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as... Uh... Wait, wait a minute. Is that Algalia? It is, isn't it? Oh, well. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as a Lusatia next time to break free from Bohemia, make them not exist, and become a great power. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.